Pure water, pure pride, pure Jamaican. Pure water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs. Hello, racing fan. This is Emilio Bimbo Rodriguez. Listen to the Open Gate Show with Colin Blair, giving you the latest tips and reviews on the horses. Big up the number one show. Greetings, everyone. This is George Osang, listening to Open Gate Show. Number one, take a listen. Good afternoon. Welcome to January 1st, 2020 Open Gate Facebook group and YouTube show. Of course, the Open Gate show can be heard on other channels on the social media, including Spotify. Hope you did well today at the races, as listening to the Open Gate show should have enough info for you to be okay with your various wagering. I encourage you to listen to replays of the Open Gate show and see where else you can get the necessary information to help you. Let's go straight to tomorrow's 9 race card, post time 12.10 p.m for the second race meet in 2021. Five furlongs round or 1,000 meters round, 10 starters for four years and up, optional claiming 20 to 25,000 with five old maidens, as well as six heroes who've never won three races in their career. Number two, it's a wrap, ran well on last. That was on December 6th, when going five furlongs straight and ended up second, two and a quarter length to Blue Attitude. Pure Art, who is very fit, it's a wrap ran in front of. Last four times this horse ran were out the straight, goes now on the curve against slightly tougher, well, not tougher, I should say, slightly weaker than where he competed on last. Mitri Prince Samo, consistent in last five starts, of which were all out the straight course. Tomorrow, this one will go on the round. Lots of horses who plies most of their races are going on the curve. Number four, Lady Budget popped up out of nowhere last week as the opening it show projected that she was looking very good in the mornings. 26th of December, that's Boxing Day, she came uh, at 20 to 1, going five and a half furlongs, and was prominent, and got second lend and three quarter to reassurance. Although she swerved a bit and caused some interference, and she was disqualified from at second post. Fit mare, who can fight this out? Number six, sharp skirt, could find an exotic spot. Number seven, sacrifice, one of two here for trainer Fit. Gerald Richards, lurking in this class for quite some time, this sacrifice. A trainer Richards normally does well in December, January, and February, so you have to bear it in mind. Number six, Alexis Star uh, comes up very light, but could find uh, this a bit too sharp in the journey. Number 10, Boss Izzy, the other fits. Gerald Richard's entry could close for a share. One of these, number four, Lady Budget, number seven, Sacrifice, number 10, Boss Izzy, number two, It's a Wrap, number eight, Alexis Tarr. Race two, go a mile or 800 or 1600 meters. It's the co featured city of, of Kingston Centenary Cup, one of uh, the oldest races that came out of Spark. And normally it, it, it promises. Normally it projects a uh, keen contest, but uh, this race has a lot of suspects, seven starters, and it's for children and up, claiming tag 600 650,000 with five years who've never won four races. Number one, Lady Jet, very consistent, Gelding, who is very fit, ran well on the 23rd of October, going seven and a half furlongs, and was off the pace and closed up the stretch to be five and a half and second to Dante. A similar run will have him in the top five, but under the, on, in, in, 
in this order that I, you know, I don't think that little light. Well, to be, let me rephrase that. At this handicap, little light should have a chance to get in the top four at least. Number two, Corlando, last two were off, has catching up to do, especially against number five, key witness. Number four, number three rather, Royal Vibes. Fresh from a runaway win over a mile on the 6th of December. In the top, in the top of 139 flat, uh, one by five and a half length. And uh, Royal Vibes, um, I can't see why he won't repeat unless number four, Purple Wayne, comes up with a good show. Uh, Purple Rain was well supported in the last two starts, but showed nothing. Anthony Thomas was the only rider to do well with this horse in only one of five starts. And that was on October 31st, again, far better, closing to be fourth by one and a half lengths to Tricky One, Extruder and Company. Number five key witness, Consistent, but all but we'll have a few better than her. Number seven, Bull Sammy, looking very happy in the mornings. Number three, Royal Vibes. Number four, Purple Wayne, could go either way. Number seven, Bull Sammy, possibly for the third spot. Number one, Little Light. Number five, Key Witness. Race three, another mile race. This one, though, is for Truth Up, a claiming tag for the 450,007 starters. Number one, Kyle is last. Win was on the 15th of August at the very trip of a mile and uh, beating Scoobert and Sweet Surprise. Not much. Uh, had seven subsequent starts since that win, with only one of that that was okay, and that was also at a mile that was on the 17th of October when he ran against Secret Traveler leak out and Wilson finishing four by four and a half length. Uh, ran last week, not didn't do much, but for whatever reason he had the tongue tie off this time. Keep on McGregor rides. Maybe Kia here could do much better seeing that he's dropping a bit down in claim. Number three, Killer B may run on for a minor share. Number four, Isotope has shown zero in all five starts last season. Number six, Sir Puddington was an easy winner on the 16th of January last season, winning by seven and a quarter lengths over his journey, beating Dallas, and here comes the boss. Nothing much. Uh, fits well with these, though, and could fight this out. Look okay coming from the equine pool whenever I see her, see him rather. Number seven radical, the lone speed here by far, and that's a plus. So number seven radical, number six, so Puddington, number three, Kilaby, number one, Kyle. If is in his good mindset, he has a very good chance of winning. Fourth race, five furlongs round or a thousand meters or nine starters. It's for nearly about four year olds and up. Phillies and mares only. It's a maiden condition race. Number one, Soul Treasure showed improvement when first down figure eight was applied. That was last week. Going four furlongs straight and run evenly. That was a fifth career start and she has hoped to do better even within a week. Number three, toughness. One of two here for trainer Ron Matthew and his groom, Trevor Murray. If she can return to that day when she was in, in front of stable mate number four, Copper Soup, who was the three to five favorite then, she had 22 to one. Toughness frequents the fast track and is looking okay. Number four, stable mate Copper Soup. Uh, Gets a good chance to fight out for a top four spot here. Um, looking okay in the morning, not all that impressive, but you know, some horses don't really look all that well exercising, and you know, so don't watch that. But Kapasoup gets 
the services of top apprentice Oshin Nugent. Number five, Blue Epiphany uh, is an erratic sort, but she can run. Number six, Lady Bastopor flashed early speed on occasions and nothing to complain about in this lineup. Lady Bastopor should have a very good chance of breaking her maiden. Number seven, Miss AJC ran well and could have won on last. That, that was last week, the 27th of December, going four for them straight when finishing third by a length and a quarter. Uh, unlucky to not have landed a coup for trainer Philip Lee and owner Leroy Williams. Uh, could be rewarded with a win, but not at 15 to 1, maybe 8 to 5. Number 4, Copper Soup. Number 7, Mr. JC. Number 6, Lady Pass the Pearl. Number 3, Toughness. Number 1, Soul Treasure. Could be a very, very dangerous horse. So treasure must definitely not be discounted for a win. Race five, six and a half for another thirty hundred meters. It's, it's uh, for five with an up optional claiming one hundred and fifty thousand two hundred and eighty with six zeros of number one two races. Number four, day to speak, uh, could find a top five placing um, since that good run going six furlongs at 99 to 1 on the 26th of July. Uh, they to speak, hasn't spoken much. Very, very light now and fresh. They to speak, could speak in the top three. Number seven, Easy Links, one of two here for trainer Philip Lee. Uh, I've been running frequently this Easy Links. Number eight, Movie Star ran okay against a weak set on the 19th of December, going five and a half furlongs, when showing speed unusually, and, and held on that to be second, six lengths behind Fortune 100. Powerful Red was just ahead behind. Number nine, Conrad Suki, fairly consistent but lacks competitiveness. However, gets the easiest task tomorrow to be congratulated. In doing his enclosure. Let's see. Matani and Mary, Robert Haldin rides for the third consecutive time, vacating stablemate Easy Ray Lynx, who he was on the last occasion. Number 11, Golden Emperor, gets a good chance to to be to live up to, to, to the good that was expected. Really looked well at exercise this week. Number 14, Coat of Arms. Uh, his condition is improved. And if you're looking for an outsider in your low, in your low middle order of your exotics, Coat of Arms could be the one. Number 11, Golden Emperor. Number 8, Conrad Suki. Number 4, Day to Speak. Number 10, Coat of Arms. Number 8, for your lowest exotics. That's Move Star. We go to race 5. With six rather, and we have eight starters. It's for Nidabred Fours and up. Horses, coats, and gallons. It's a major condition race. They'll be going the minimum distance on the curve, five fellows round. Number two, Nadan has been running frequently out the straight, of which his last one was okay. Could find a place on the board. Number three, Lava Boy, very, very busy racer who gets on the board in nine of his last ten starts. Was beaten by number four, Commandante Luna, on last when at seven and a half furlongs by three lunch. This is five furlongs round, so let's see what, what different that can can, do, can make for him to turn the tables on number four, Commandante Luna. Commandante Luna, number four, uh, had Lava Boy behind and should improve on that run on Boxing Day, the 26th of December, when coming from way off the pace and got within one and a half length second, the Cape Boy, especially now that he could get a better break from the gate. Number five, Sniper Man, could factor in the lower order of your exotic. Number seven, Silent Cat. Uh, looking in reasonably good condition. Uh, don't know how, how good a horse he is, though, and he needs to deal better out of the gate. 
first to really show what value he has. Number four, Commandante Luna from number three, Lava Boy. Number two, Nidan. Number five, Sniper Man. With seven, five foot on straight or a thousand meters straight, if started with four fours and up, who never won two races in a lifetime. Number one, Lord of Agilent. Gets back, blinkers, and a figure eight, plus a good workout on December 28th. Three fours and 36 and two fifths, very easily out of straight. Uh, he was in the company of Unwritten Law and another horse, and Lord of Abidjan was the victor out of that three horses from the Carl Anderson stables that morning. Um, should have a chance. Number two, Color, Color, Me, Color Me Tan, one of two here for trainer Patrick Lynch, broke his maiden out straight. That was in November 13th, and um, in fairly okay time for this class, 59 and 3 fifths. Um, he betted Executive Force and Gypsy Jam both came back to win. Executive Chef, Ra Chief, Chef, Executive Chef, rather. Boy, am I tongue twisted. Well, it's the new year. Number three, Gypsy Jam meets Nemesis Kalami Tan, who betted her by a length before breaking her maiden. Both races were out the street. Before casual affair, no faith in who he can beat, especially at his weight. Abigail Abel rides better out the straight in at this time. Well, at this point in her career, that's where she, she rides best. Number five, no work permit, US importy who hasn't shown much in 14 career starts. However, may try to get her work permit this time for a try in the winner then for entry into the winner and closure. Number six, Dora the Butcher, broker made now this course. Number seven, KD, KD Rocket, comes off almost four months respite. Seldom the exercise track, but frequents the equine pool as well. Won't be perturbed off the layoff and could compete well against, against his lot as he has already competed against some of the top Horses the last season. Number eight, striking lady continues to work okay, but has not really shown much. Number seven, Katie Rocket. Number four, Casual Affair. Number one, Lord of Agile. Number five, No Work Permit. One of those should surely win this race. The penultimate race, race eight, seven starters, seven furlongs, or 1400 meters. It's for Native Trios only. It's a maiden condition race. Number one, Hajo Primero got gets to figure it off after four cons consecutive times with it on. Just starting to show some value in the morning and maybe could get a very low exotic spot here. Number three, three times lucky, one of two here for Wayne Acosta. Last three starts were okay and could be full, fully focused this time. She is the most experienced horse here and could use that as an advantage. Number four, Sir John, the other the cost to entry, flattered us on on his debut on the 21st of November when closing from way off to be three and a half and third to calculus and action and came back on the 29th of November against winners and ran okay, six by 39th to further on beyond the street and company, where I can tell you that was, that, that race comprised of the best two-year-olds then. On the 23rd of December, seven furlongs again for the second time, was the one to do favorite and uh, tried to catch leader Action Anne, but Action Anne proved slippery, pulling away to win by 13 length and left Sir John flattened. Uh, going seven furlongs again should improve. 57 kilos and Anthony Thomas, the co-champion jockey aboard. Sir John, don't have to improve much to beat these unless stable companion, three times lucky, has improved more. Number five, Hilly's vision has been improving a bit, bit by bit, should be on the board this time 
and I'm expecting a top three finish from this one. Number six, a debutant, big man Biden, born the 16th of April, a big court by American Dan, thought of Turbina, by Market Rally, Norris Finn, owns and breeds this one. Fitzsimon Williams, the trainer, Cayman McGregor rides. Uh, showing youth on the exercise track, but will need this race, at least to win. Number seven, Whispering Magic, Tiny Philly, who may get a low exotic spot. Number four, Sir John, just from, from number three, three times lucky, could go either way. Number five, his vision, could upset. Number seven, Whispering Magic. You come to the final race. Race nine. So the second race meet of 2021. Five films on or a thousand meters on. It's for trees and it's for trees and up overnight allowance. Horses have never won an overnight allowance. Nine starters. Number one, England's Rose. Disappointing Philly, who may be having her last race before going to stud. She has some issues, regrettably, because she has talent. Kind of like how she is carrying herself this week. Not perfect, but good enough to better these. Number two, Ron Kiber looking good in, uh, in his movements in the mornings and um, could be a factor. It all depends on how focused he will be. Don't worry about this, the minimum trip. Uh, he could get into the top three. Number five, cars on one of one of two here for trainer Stephen Todd, seeking a hat trick of wins. Um, well, better said, she's sitting on a hat trick of wins. Um, claimed from that last race, she ran in on the 10th of October, going five and a half furlongs, where she won easily. In the time of one minute, five and three fifths. Uh, beating Mr. Universe and Bimini can be part of the outcome if she's okay. This trainer Forte is, is claiming horses with back class and do well, well with them. Number six, the other uh, third entry, Enough is Enough. Uh, well, he was another high claim, high claim of last claim by Stephen Todd. Looking okay going to the pool in the morning and will run okay. Uh, could be running on. And if the leader falters, enough is enough, could just get enough for him to go by all and sundry at the winning post. Number seven, Eroy, has been disappointing since, his November, since last November, yet cuts back to the minimum curve distance. Did do well on the 30th of December, of September rather, going six furlongs uh, when he Ran second, two and a half lengths, third, sorry, when he was third, two and a half lengths behind Sir Alton and Clock, uh, Chain of Richard Hassan. This horse is running a lot, and um, he must know why he's going to the minimum trip with this one. Number one, England Rose, number five, Corazon, number seven, Uroy, number six, Enough is Enough, number three, Lola Diva. Uh, well, we come to the end of the show and all the best for 2021 we have just started and we don't know what this door of 2027 2021 brings we have to be careful in all aspects make sure you wear a mask practice social distancing wash your hands and a tip from the open gate show you could put a little drop of eucalyptus oil on your mask so you can breathe in and you can breathe in and help to protect yourself. All right, uh, normally oh, this top two or top three thing, it, it's not easy for me. And um, third race, number seven, Radical. The, let me see. And in the ninth race, why? Number, nine, number one, England Rose. So there you have it. Take care. Please listen to the replays and enjoy. Pure water, pure pride, pure Jamaican. Pure water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs.